is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some of my 2018 most anticipated book releases. This is just my personal list. I am the lighting is changing. Oh my god, I can't deal with this today. Um, this is personally my most anticipated list, so I'm counting, I'm going to be talking about 15 releases that I'm personally really excited about, that also some that I know you guys are going to be excited about, so I'm going to have my Goodreads thing with them all linked if you're interested, but let's start off with the January releases and go till the end of the year, which I know there's going to be a lot of pop-up releases that I'm really excited for, and there is some other releases that I'm excited for, but I decided to only talk about 15, so yes. First up here I have This Boy is a Rainbow by Sam Payne. This is a poetry collection that has to deal with heartbreak and it's about an LGBT relationship. It's very similar to Milk and Honey in the way that it's formatted um, with the illustrations and things like that. This comes out on the 1st of January so it is already out and I did receive this as an ARC and I really liked it so just letting you guys know about that one. Two on this list is Gunslinger Girl. Um, this book I actually already have. I found it in the store. Well I found it like two weeks before it was out in the store, so it's like over there. But basically this book is a YA Western and it's published by the same, it's published by James Patterson Presents, so the same company that published um, Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula, which I didn't like Stalking Jack the Ripper, but Hunting Prince Dracula was really good. So yes, I'm excited for it. I love me some Westerns and we need more of them in our lives, so yes. This comes out on the 2nd of January. Three is Zenith by Sasha Aldberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is another one that I already have because I found it early. Because my bookstore puts stuff out early, but this one is like really early because I found this before January. And this po this is released on January 16th. Basically, this book is a sci-fi space story. And I believe there's romance involved. I believe there's space pirates, things like that. So I'm excited to see what this one's all about. I've heard mixed things, but I'm excited to kind of see how I liked this one. Next up here, I have the Apocalypse of Ellen Mendoza. This is by Sean David Hutchinson. And this book I'm so excited for because Dylan from Dylan, Dylan the Reader 5 loves this book so much. So I'm super excited to see if I will enjoy it as well, considering I loved We Are the Ants. So I'm excited for it. I believe this one's a female-female relationship, which I'm interested in. Or no, I think there's bi rep. I don't know exactly, but I'm very excited for this one. I know Dylan loves it because he received an early copy. No, it's the apocalypse. Yeah, I'm just confused about this title because all I wrote down was like Ellen Mendoza. So I'm like, what is the title? Um, but yes, this comes out on February 6th. On March 6th, Restore Me by Tanara Mavi comes out. I'm so excited. I read Shatter Me so long ago and I loved that trilogy so much. I remember reading this in the halls of my school and like people were like, my friends were near me and I would just be reading this like, oh my God. And everyone's like, what is happening to you? <laughs> and I, I get it's not a perfect series at all, but I love Warner, I love Juliet's growth, and I'm so happy there's gonna be a book four. So yes, I'm very excited for this one. It's gonna be the fourth book in the Shatter Me series, if you didn't know, yay! Another book that's coming out on March 6th is The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. This is going to be another poetry collection by the same author who wrote The Princess Saves Herself in this one. I don't know much about this individual poetry collection, but I loved her other one, so I'm gonna read it. Next up on March, on March 24th, Leah on the Offbeat releases, which is by Becky Albertalli. I've loved her two previous releases. I love, like, I decent, like, I liked Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. It was really fun. And then I loved The Upside of Unrequited, so I'm very excited for Lee on the Offbeat. And I don't know much about it, only that it connects with the Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and, like, I think there's gonna be crossover characters and things like that. I forget if it's a direct companion, like, I, I don't think it's a direct sequel. I think it's a companion. I'm not exactly sure. I suck. Okay. Next up here, I have Not That Bad. This is by Roxy Gay and I believe some other writers. I don't know much. Rudy, say hi to my cam. Oh my god, you scratched me. Yeah, he hates being lifted. Now I'm gonna start bleeding. Great! I love everything. <laughs> um, literally, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh my cat, I swear to god. Um, so Not That Bad by Roxanne Gay. This release is on May 1st. All I know is that Roxanne Gay is going to be a part of it. I don't really know even what it's about, but Roxanne Gay's name is on it, so I'm going to read it. Nine is Akomath, Akofas, so A Court of Frost and Starlight. This is a 3.5 in the Aquatar series, so I'm very excited for this one. On May 1st, 
So I'm going to be waiting for this because I'm diehard obsessed with that trilogy or like the series, but there's three books out. Okay. Next is The Outsider by Stephen King. I'm so excited for this one. This comes out on June 5th of 2018. I'm very excited for this one. Honestly, I'm bitter about my cat. Why are you on my keyboard? I'll link all the Goodread pages for these if you want to check more about what they're about because a lot of them I don't know the exact synopsis but I'm just very excited for them because I've read from this author before or because it does sound intriguing or because I've heard good things and things like that but The Outsider by Stephen King I'm excited for. I'm always so excited for Stephen King's new releases. I usually don't look into too much what they're about but I'm very excited for this one. So next up here I have Providence by Car Carolyn Kepnes. This, release, this releases on June 9th of 2018 and I don't know much about this one either but she wrote You which I I loved when I read it and I'm just very excited for her to come out with a new book and the cover looks pretty I think I've heard a synopsis and it sounds cool so I'm gonna read it next up here I have listen to your heart by Casey West this is a fun this is gonna be a fun way contemporary as usual her books are so this one is going to come out on June 29th so fun we're gonna skip through these quick because I'm getting bitter because I'm edgy and this video is not going to be fun if I sit here for another five minutes. So, first we have Escaping from Houdini, which this is going to be the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which this is going to be coming out on 9-18-18. So I'm very excited for this one because I do quite like a Hunting Prince Dracula. Probably my most anticipated is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, which comes out on 12-4-18. Very excited for this one. This is the third book in the Dark Artifices series. So I've been waiting. I'm so excited fight me. I know everyone's excited about it. I love it. Like, I'm excited. Like, I'm thrilled. Next up, I have some that I don't, like, they don't have official release dates yet, but they're set to come out in 2018. So first up, I have Blue Exorcist Volumes 19 and 20, which are set to come out in Canada this year. And next, I also have Warcross Book 2, which doesn't have a title or a cover, but it's set to come out in 2018. So I'm waiting. So there you guys have it. Those are some of my most anticipated releases. I'm so sorry for this video. It's all over the place. The lighting is absolute shit. If this goes up, I'm very surprised. Um, but if it does, let me know what you thought of it down below. I need a nap. <laughs> so I'ma leave. <laughs> Bye. The